I'm not, I don't want none of it. Because if it wasn't for Lamar Scares, if it wasn't for Imam Muhammad, I would have never kissed the black stone by the grace of Allah. I would have never walked around the Kaaba with the Imam. I would have never shined Imam Muhammad's shoes. Yeah, I shined his shoes. I'm trying to literally, I thought you knew. I'm trying to tell you something. We raised a thousand dollars off the bus. They said, oh, hold it, hold it. They said the bus was $50, but it was only 22 per person. I said, well, let's up it so we can get a mosque cares a donation. Then Jesus said, we don't have no money in the bank, Sister Robin. You know what I mean? But I'm going to get them, I'm going to get mosque cares all the money we got. We broke now. <laughs> now hold it. We broke. I think, no, 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 no. Let me say this. Go ahead, man. We got 63 cents, I think, left after this. But I'm going to give this to Wadidin Muhammad II and his noble assistant and his staff. And it's all I can do. And after I get this, I'm going to preach. <laughs> On behalf of Master Imam Wadidin Muhammad Mansur, some learning center, and the wonderful, magnificent, and noble believers from Detroit. We give the mosque is one thousand dollars. But watch what Allah do. Watch what Allah do. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. What can I say? This is the blessed month of Ramadan. Can you hear me? You need, you need the mic. Can you get the mic? Get down. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. Ramadan Mubarak. Ramadan Mubarak. And what can I say? This is the blessed month of Ramadan. And Allah is truly God, Allah is Lord and Master over everything. And Allah is always in a charge and in control of all of our affairs. That this brother, he's a sincere brother, and I remember the uh, visit to the Holy City of Mecca. It was a delegation of uh, maybe 15 or more yes, sir. imams. And myself, my young self, was alongside of his father, my teacher and leader, uh, Imam Wafa D. Muhammad, and I remember uh, Brother Mubarak, uh, young man just like he is today, don't look too much different than he did uh, well over 20 years back then, and uh, he had a lot of energy, and he was young. So I'm with a group of seniors, and quite naturally, I'm in a foreign uh, environment, foreign country, and I was raised amongst immigrant Muslims, Arabs, I had some, uh, some Palestinian Arab uh, school teachers, and from, I'm sure, some other parts of the country, sort of the Sister Clara Muhammad School, so I was familiar. So culturally, uh, I felt very comfortable around uh, the Arab, in the Arab culture, but also knowing I'm amongst Muslims. But I think I identified with Imam Mubarak because of his usefulness. <laughs> uh, I remember he was also pretty good, something I envy that. I was, I'm just okay with, with a basketball. Oh. <laughs> he, probably, he probably still, I, I can tell he's still in good shape. He's probably still pretty good. Uh, but alhamdulillah, that um, I just want to say, I don't want to take too much of this time up. Uh, I got a message afterwards. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, um, that poverty, Allah sends us, and those two sisters she had up here, I don't know if anybody is here that was at Juma on Friday, that when I mentioned those angels, that I saw in that photograph of my wife uh, that I hung on the wall, those are the other two sisters that flanked to her right side, side on the front and in the, in the back. Those are the other two angels. And uh, I'm gonna tell y'all the story about this. I'm gonna let him speak though. Uh, because uh, it's, uh, Allah is merciful and Allah's mercy is on us and we should all be looking, not just me. We should be looking at Allah's communication to us. Allah wants only good for us. So whatever he's communicating to you is more valuable than any money we can put in the bank. And this brother knows it. That's why he's able to do what my father did on a daily basis. He would empty his account knowing he had some very dire bills to pay. Knowing, I don't think he hesitated to do what Allah called him to do, no matter how much money was in the bank. Because he trusted in Allah that if he had money today, and 
Allah will bless him to have money tomorrow. That's right. And I'm praying that Allah will bless Imam Mubarak 1,000 times over for his donation and give the believers as much as Allah of Allah's mercy that he has in store and double that. Yes, sir. Inshallah. Thank you. Yes, 20 minutes. But good 20 minutes. You can do a lot of things in 20 minutes, right, Hopi? That's my man, Hopi. Hopi know me from Los Angeles. Right? I got some witnesses in here. Now, I'm going to say this. It's a brother called me from New York. Ten days ago, he said, hey, "Ma'am, I'm coming." So you coming all the way from New York? No. I was taking my shoes off, and there he was. He don't want me to call his name, and I'm not gonna call his name. <laughs> but I am gonna call his name. <laughs> brother Yusuf from New York, Can't stand up, please. That man right there. Yusuf, come on, help me out, brother. All the way from New York, and I'm, I never knew him. He only saw me at the convention. And he told me, he said, Imam Mubarak, you're always the most approachable Imam. And just like what the Muhammad said, his father said, look, you're the youngest Imam on the trip. Stay with my uh, son, Wallace and Sadi. And I said, oh, me? I want to hang out with Hassan and the big boy. <laughs> Wallace and they were young guys, right? But it was good. It was good. We talked about this and talked about that. I got a call from a brother from Minneapolis. He said, Imam, you going to be speaking at the mosque cares? I'm coming down bringing some people with me. Elijah, stand up. That's my man Elijah. I know, I know him since 1977. So I don't care what you hear about me after the day. Now, check with Hopi. Check with Elijah. Check with yourself. And I guarantee you. No! Oh, that's Mr. Ramadan? Oh, praise to Allah. Matthew Ramadan? That's Matthew Ramadan from Minneapolis. I was fresh out of college. Now Matthew was a tough guy, right? I got a hard head, but his is harder. <laughs> yeah, no, I say it meaning that Matthew gets things done. He's, he's brilliant in his own right. And I don't say that just to say that. But in 1977, I walked in Minneapolis and said, Master, and he was there. He was doing things on the north side, big things, million dollar things. So I don't know what he's doing here, but he needs to come on board. So all praise to Allah. Let's get busy. Praise be to Allah. I want y'all to know I was talking about the best. Okay? I was talking about the best, so I hope you got your seat, though. Bismillah ar Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Say praise be to Allah, who begets no son and has no partner. Allah's is the dominion. No one needs he any to protect him from humiliation. Yay! Yay! Magnify him for his greatness and glory. Allah says, takbir. This is where the word takbir comes from in Quran. Allah says, and magnify him. Enhance him. Enlarge him in your praise. Takbir. 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 See, there are those of you that are here. You don't know who Allah is. You don't know the difference between Allah and Jesus. Because you haven't studied your faith. You're confused. That's why any Muslim that does a khutbah, he first needs or she needs to establish the Tawheed of Allah. The oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because when he does that or she does that, they make it plain. Why? Because we don't sit off for mustaqim. There's no there's no ambiguity. No uncertainty in Allah. In Allah want what? Iqlas. Kul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam yakum wa huu kufa wa nahi. That crushes every idea. That's right. All ideas. And Allah is so sensitive. So sensitive. He doesn't want anything associated with him. A man can go out and kill a whole uh, 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 village. And Allah will forgive him. Huh? While a country of all is wealth, diligent, and forgive him or her. Yet, all you have to do is say, you're not Allah, that's Allah. And you said enough, and don't repent.